The first add-on that I'll show you is an add-on that allows you to search and filter your audit log. So up here, let's say I wanted to see everything that happened with the Jetpack plugin. I can type in Jetpack and it will show me the different messages here that include the word Jetpack. So it's a text-based search. It can be pretty handy if you have a lot of alerts. And you can also do filtering. So you can filter by very specific alerts if you want to see a certain thing. You can also do from and to dates if you wanted to see everything that happened with the Jetpack plugin between you know a week ago and today. You can put from and to in there. You can also look at certain IP addresses. If there's a fishy IP address, then you can add that in here and see what that IP address has been up to. Um, or you can keep tabs on specific users. So that'll filter your log. Um, and um, you can use that combined with the text-based search and it creates a pretty powerful way to, to take a look at your audit log. We also have email notifications. So these are for people that don't want to log into your WordPress site to see all of the alerts that are happening. You can get emailed about them. So there's two different ways we can do this. The plugin author has done a great job of setting up some basic built-in notifications. These are things that happen a lot that people would want to be notified about quite often, so they're pretty popular. And you can easily just check a box to enable or disable them. So I've got some basic ones here that I wanted to see every time a user logs in, send me an email, as well as any time a new plugin is installed, I'd like to get an email. You can add multiple email addresses in here by using a comma, or you can just have you know, one standard email address as well. Um, you can also get noticed of, uh, notified of just all the critical alerts, which um, are the, the more severe ones or have the, the most potential to be a security threat. Um, you can get just alerted of those, which is pretty neat as well. So once you've checked whatever alerts you want from here, you can click Save Notification, and you will get emailed every time it happens. If there's something that you want to be notified about that is not on this list, you can come over here to the Email Notifications Builder. Here you can actually add your own custom email notifications and this is really powerful because you can customize this to your heart's content in a lot of different ways. So for every notification that you receive via email you can set up five triggers that tell the plugin what needs to be happening and what type of alert it needs to be in order for you to be notified. Um, so it's pretty powerful. Here you'll see all of the different options that you have available. The one that I've set up, this is just going to notify me every time a new post draft is created. So a post draft being created, I looked up um, is the alert code for 2000. So you just do alert code is equal to 2000 and we're good to go. You could also say set up triggers that look at specific domains if you have a multi-site install or specific page or posts to see when they're updated um, or deleted or modified. You can look at all different kinds of stuff here. Um, you can have every time one single person takes an action, you can have um, alerts triggered for you um, there as well. Lots of different options here for your email notifications, and there's no limit to how many uh, email notifications you can set up. So that's really, really cool. So that's the email notifications add-on. There's another add-on called the external database. And this allows you to store all of your alerts in a different database, not your default WordPress database. So if you want to really keep your WordPress database clean and you have access to another one, you can put in all those database credentials here and um, offload all your alerts to be stored in that separate database. So this would allow you to store uh, a lot more alerts without worrying about any kind of negative performance um, impact on your database. It does only support MySQL databases at this point, but hopefully in the future they will add some other types. So it has to be a MySQL database. Just enter your information, click Save Changes, and you're good to go. Another add-on for the WP Security Audit Log plugin is a reporting add-on. This is pretty neat as well. So similar to your email notifications, you've got a summary, which they're already set up for you, and you can check these boxes to say which type of reports you'd like to receive. Everything from a list of logins to content that was published, password changes, or new users that were created. So you can select however many of those reports you want there. And then you also choose if you want them weekly or monthly. They'll be sent on the first day of either the week or the month. You can limit them by sites. If you have a multi-site install and I come here, I can choose however many sites that I want on my network. And then you also get to choose between HTML and CSV format. 
So if you need to maybe import these into another platform, you can choose CSV. If you just want to view them in a nice visual format, then HTML is the way to go. You can again put multiple email addresses to receive those reports and go ahead and just save them when you're done. Now, if some of these reports on here aren't uh, customized enough to your liking, you want to create your own, you come over here to the Generate Reports tab. And here, just like the email notifications, just like everything else with this plugin, it is very customizable. So you can choose your sites, choose your users, roles, IP addresses, and then you can choose a category of alert codes um, or multiple categories you can check here. Or if you want very, very specific alerts, you would come down here to the bottom and check specific alert codes. And then you can choose from any one of the over 100 different alert codes that they have here and just create a report based on those. The last thing to change here is your date range. If you want everything that's in your logs from start to finish, just leave these date ranges blank. If you want to look at just activity in a specific week or month or day, then you would put those dates in here. And then again, choosing your report format and click generate report. So I went ahead and generated a report and just to give you guys an idea what it looks like. It's pretty basic, but here gives you your criteria of what you selected to be in your report and then here you'll see all of the information. If you are on a multi-site install, each site will be separated out. You'll see this is the name of my site, Dev, right here. Another add-on for the Security Audit Log plugin is a security add-on. This is not quite ready yet as of April 22nd, 2016, but it will probably be released very soon. Um, the plugin author was really nice and gave me a sneak peek uh, to take a look at it. What this does is it shows you all of the logged in users who are actively logged into your WordPress site. So it gives you basic information who they are, when they logged in, when their login expires, and when they'll be kicked out and asked to log in again. The IP address that they logged in from, the last alert, so the last action that was taken on the site that was tied to that person's username. And then this is the big security feature here is the ability to destroy that person's session. So this, when you click this button, it will automatically log them out of their session and they'll be forced to log in again. So if there's somebody in your site that should not be in there and you want to kick them out, you can do that with just the click of a button. And then I would highly recommend as soon as you do that, that you go and change their password as well so that they can't just log in and start a new session. So that's a new um, add-on that will be coming very soon. So that is a full and complete look at the WP Security Audit Log plugin, both the free version as well as all of the add-ons that they have available. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below, and I will see you in the next video.